What's up guys, it's Burback here, and we are coming back into some Slay the Spire Downfall. Last time, we tried the champ and our stances were struck. Um, this time, we are going to go in with the Stecco. Um, Stecco, 90 HP, 99 souls. The serpentine creature native to the city, known for a stare that confuses predators. Stecco soul whenever an unknown card, which is no keyword, uh, whenever you add an unknown card into deck, increase your max HP by one. Okay, it's kind of nice. Uh, we forgot to read the champ last time. Uh, we had the champ, 90 HP, 99 souls, but we didn't read this. The undisputed king of the arena has never lost a match. We lost three last time. So, jump in here with the Sneko. All right, let's do our next three enemies run away. Okay. Ooh, there's an interesting question mark. Path to an elite. Good amount of rest. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go up through this way. Shabam, bam, bam. Um, let's look at the starting deck. Three strikes, three defends. Okay. Um, tail whip uh, deals ten damage. Apply zero to two weak and zero to two vulnerability. What's the upgrade on this? Zero to three. Okay. Um, snake bite. Uh, muddle the highest cost card in your hand. Muddle the highest two cost cards. Okay, that's kind of nice. So I think muddling a card changes its cost between zero and three. Okay. Unknown card, it's just anything. This is definitely going to be a hard character for me. I am not great with the unknown stuff. I think we're going to go with Snake Bite. Uh, more damage and to try to offset some card cost. Bye-bye. Nice to see you. Unknown Hexaghost card. Seems weird. Snake Rake. Uh, nine damage. Draw zero to two cards. Muddle the highest card in your hand. This one at least makes it positive, which is kind of nice. I think I'm going to go with Snake Rake. The random cards seem okay. Oh, he's running away. I don't know what that means, but okay. Um, the Unknown Hexaghost is not great. Unknown Uncommon Attack seems okay. Unknown common skill. I think we'll take the uncommon attack for the, also the max HP. All right, we have M Majeur Shop, Iron Fang. Uh, I kind of like. Three to nine and three to nine damage and block, respectively. Master, I become confused whenever you draw like, a card, randomize it. Draw an additional card each turn. Seems pretty interesting. It does pretty much what Sneko does. Um, unknown slime boss cards. Hex I think Hexaghost is not going to be good because a lot of their cards have to do with um, advancing the uh, the the ghost flames. So, and they're all a lot more ethereal. Slime boss could be good, but I think that's going to have a lot of split cards. <sighs> I don't know. Master Eye seems pretty good. Like, it's going to make the run really hard, but we also can muddle cards to make them less, and additional draws good. I think I'm going to take it. We'll, we'll try it. Could have been the wrong move, but we'll see. Okay, bye-bye, peeps. Unknown upgraded. Unknown upgraded one cost card. Interesting. Uh, seven damage, seven total damage to all enemies. Upgrade all off-class cards in your hand. Okay, I kind of like that. Upgrade a bunch of your cards. But Snake Rake seems so good. But this one's too. I don't. I won't have to upgrade it because we're going to be confusing ourselves anyway. But muddling more cards and drawing. <sighs> Snake Rake's just really good. I think it's gonna be good. We're about to find out. So Master Eye, we're confused. Okay, so this should muddle the highest cost card. So nine damage. Made something three. We gained a clash though, but I can't play the defense. So I can't play the clash. Interesting. So you really don't want to play the muddled unless uh, your hand is like full of nonsense. Okay, endless agony. Muddle something. Should muddle the defend into something we can play. Okay, and a... 
Random colorless card to your hand, I think would be nice. Time Bomb. Well, that's kind of useless. Tail Whip does 10 damage. We're good anyway. Power Potion could be very good for closing out fights. Unknown X cost card, I kind of like. Unknown X cost card. Just because you always can play it um, pretty much for some kind of benefit, hopefully. Uh, and it doesn't get muddled by the confusion. Okay, and then we're going to go here, here, here. Yeah. I guess it doesn't matter which one we go to. Oh, yeah, let's see if we can find a relic. Oh, man. Oh. Uh, Ginger, no longer become weak? Okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, any meeny. Uh, it shouldn't matter. Let's do this one. Me on the bone. Okay, if your HP is below 50%, then heal 12. I like it. It's going to be helpful. Oh, I don't know if I can beat her. Gain a potion relic and three potions. She's hard to fight, though. I'm not going to fight her. Not today. This is the safe run. If we get another run, uh, we can try fighting her. Okay, didn't draw anything, and we muddled the strike to be more expensive. Snake bite, muddle it again. Became free. Okay. The muddling is going to be... It, this is like a... Going to be a confusing character. Okay. Um, whenever you scry... That's not going to help. But it's a zero cost attack. Sure. Um, zero to three vulnerability and weak. I should have played Tail Whip first. Because, yeah, they are vulnerable. It's fine. And weak. So that was a good draw of that one. Secret weapon. There are, there's no attacks in the deck. However, Carnage is what I wanted to play. Gambler's Brew. Defect. Ironclad cards are really good. Model the highest cost cards. And it's a block. Model the two. However, I think the Ironclad cards are going to be really good for us. High attacks. They deal a pretty good amount of damage. This is going to suck. I can already tell. Skewer. Oh, man. Yep, there's a lot of damage coming in. I guess it'll muddle the tail rake, so maybe we can play it. Nine damage, can I kill any of you? Not really. Hmm. Not without two attacks. All right, I can kill you, but you're the highest cost one, so let's muddle. Um, who's done the most damage? One of you guys. Okay. That's kind of nice. Defend. Then strike. Then clash. 14 damage, we kill another one. 10 damage, we kill another one, and then we take one. I'm okay with that. Snake bite, muddle. Um, there's nothing I really want to muddle currently. Let's play what we want first, and then we'll muddle. That? Oh, we could have killed one of them. Muddled, and Master Eye. Can't be weak. Looks tasty. 8 damage. Sure. Strike. Okay. Still don't want defect. It's too random for time. Muddle the next two to four card you draw. Muddle your hand. I think this is just kind of nice. Helps just like reset the clock. Okay. Um, is this a skill? Yeah, of course it is. Dagger throw. Drop the defend. M muddle the hand. Play the tail whip, I guess. Sure. <laughs> Okay, um, temporary shield, draw draw one card if you have a card in stasis. Um, hmm. I guess snake rake. Sure, snake bite, awesome. Snake rake, cool. Temporary shield, don't really wanna play. Weave, great, strike, great. That was actually not a bad hand. He is enraged. Do I really want to take less damage? Can I kill him next turn? Probably not, so. We'll take the 10. That puts us within meat on the bone range. Should be nice. Um, and I think we got this right now. Uh, see, weakness. Totally fine with. Um, and then doppelganger. Sure. He's going to do a little bit more damage, but hopefully this will help us close out the fight now. Unless our hand is terrible. Do this. Draw. We'll discard the clash. I don't think I'll ever be able to play it. Soul roll. Strike. Cool. Ancient tea set, really good. Extra energy is always going to help on when all these cards are kind of random. Ooh, and a 
three cost card is kind of nice. Uh, one to 30 can be upgraded any number of times. Okay, I think we will go with Dice Boulder sounds very good. <sighs> Upgrade. Actually, just, screw it. Let's try it. We have a bunch. The reason is we have another rest here. We can go ahead and upgrade it again. Uh, and why not? <laughs> it's it's a big hit or miss. Um, feel no pain is kind of terrible. But I could get it out of the hand. Because I kind of want to play Dice Boulder. Actually, let's go ahead and snake bite first. Okay. That kind of seals it. Do I go for the high roll, the high risk, or the high reward? What else will I play? Probably fill no pain so I don't draw it again. Okay, we will go with the high. Or I can play the defend and just hope. We'll do this one. Only five. So either way, when I got through either one of them. Okay, Ghost Inferno. Boss, lose 6 HP, deal 6 damage to a random enemy 6 times. Not really what I want. These all kind of suck. Let's Tail Whip. I won't even kill him though. Well, you know what? Just muddle up the whole hand. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, 8 damage, 10, 14, 4... Oh, wait, I don't get to pay. Okay, even split, 8, 10, kill. Alright, not bad. Another Fruit Juice, actually, super good. Strength up for max HP. Guardian, uh, um, deal 1 to 10 damage. Maximum damage is increased for each unknown card you start with, start combat with. We're going to be adding more unknown cards. This one's increased by 1 for each unknown. How many do we have now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5? So it'd be 1 to 15 currently for 1. I'm kind of okay with it. Upgrade all off-class cards in your hand. Eh. Sure. We're kind of high-risking it right now anyway. Um, let's go ahead and break for the decks. Might as well. And we're going to smith the dice boulder. Plus one. Nine to 34. Might as well. I mean, can't hurt. Um, Egg of the mushroom, sure. It's going to be a sucky fight, but fine. Um, I cannot kill them. Definitely not. 10 damage here, though. Could be kind of nice. Didn't get the weak or the vulnerability. Okay. Also, we didn't... Oh, we, we had the energy from here. That's kind of nice. I could actually almost kill one of you. If I got really good rolls. Let's go ahead and play both these, and we will go with this. Got 11. High roll. My main problem is I don't think we have any AoE. In range bash. Uh, four damage. Berserker combo out of fatigue. Huh. Okay. This and I guess this tells you this was an unknown, uncommon attack is where it came from. Do I want to muddle anything? Let's kill you. Snake rake, get some muddling. Nothing great. However, this will give us two energy. And then I can kill no one. I can become confused. Which is, actually, you know what? I don't want to really do this. None of those were really good for what I wanted. Yeah, here we go. Uh, okay. It's 11. I cannot, I can almost kill one of you. Let's kill the 13. 33. Nice. Soul roll. The high end roll. Oh, I should have fended first. I'm fine with it. Volcano Visage. That's uh, apply four. Uh, it's a bunch of soul burn. Interesting. Odd mushroom. Less vulnerable damage from vulnerability. Pretty good. We're at fifty nine. Okay. Uh, do I? Umber of unknown cards. I actually don't think I want any of those. I think our goal is to upgrade the dice boulder. Is our win condition. So we want stuff that facilitates that. Um, hmm. Snake rake. Okay, that was bad. Muddle our hand. Still bad. Didn't really get much better. Guess we'll get some block here. I really wanted Dice Boulder to be less. Okay. Another doppelganger. Place two cards. 
Time to guard into stasis. Sure. Error, stasis in progress, okay. Weird one. Um, do I really want to attack again? Or do I just want to like, hope the next turn will be better, honestly. Okay. Sands of time, okay, this is a weird one still. Heavy blow, okay, so we're gonna muddle a bunch of stuff. So this is for sure gonna muddle. Let's go do that. Heavy blade is now less. Very nice. Sands of Time is also less. Very nice. Muddle something good. Master Vibe became zero. Don't really want to play it because we're out of this combat. Uh, move quick is fine. Quick move. Uh, reduce the cost of all class right here. Honestly, another Dice Crush could be nice. But do I really want it? We're making our deck bigger. Let's take Slither. Slither Strike. Um, it just reduced like cards damage which is gonna be nice a taunt really into a random stance which we can't do okay um snake rake dice boulder 17 not bad i guess we will go for the weakness well actually this is going to reduce it by one for the turn so we want to do snake strike and then taunt oh we can enter stances that's interesting i assume that just would not work Okay, we have Sneak, draw one distant card, uh, number of card, equal to this card's cost, snack out, when it draws randomized. So we would draw no additional cards, but I could re-roll it if I really wanted to. Do I really, let's just draw the one card. Uh, sure, we put Snake, right? I'd rather have drawn that one. Um, defend, and then I'm going to just play both these. <laughs> I was like, oh, I could, I could re-roll them for some random effect, but I could re-roll them where I couldn't play them is all that happened. I'm going to go ahead and drink this, by the way. You metal a card, gain one block next turn. Exterior on fast. By one. I think muddled shield is what I want. I want more defensive. 16 blocks pretty good. Do that. See if we can put some more weakness on him. Pretty nice. Do I really want the two wounds? Or just take the four damage? I think I'll take the four damage. He's defending a ton, unfortunately. Okay. Um, snake rake. Now I'll power through. Dice boulder for five damage, unfortunately. Um, I really want to muddle some more stuff. I really want to play Snake Bite. Or I could just Dice Crush. But at the same time, I could fail on that. Snake Rake. Snake Bite went down to one. That's fine. Okay. We're fine. So draw two cards. I don't really like any of these. Okay, they're not attacking though, so I'd rather... Honestly, I want more attacks. So draw, I guess. I can't play Soul Roll. There we go. Tail Whip. Fine. Defend. Still vulnerable and still weak, which is kind of nice. Okay. I'm trying to see. I can continue making him weak, which does not help me. Honestly, let's chain stance. I would gain four counter, which is kind of nice because he is hitting me a bunch. Then I want to muddle everything. Defend becomes free, and strike becomes playable. Ooh. Ow. Okay. We're, we're still going for this. Uh, yes. Tail Whip. Dice Crush. Everything was blocked. Um, I just want to strike and then see if I can roll that. I could not, so. Vulnerability wore off, finally. Um, this kind of hand kind of sucks. Snake Rake. I really need some damage, but if I play this, I'm not going to be able to play any other cards. Am I dead here? Uh, yes, definitely. Because I cannot, I can draw cards, but at the same time, it's not going to help me. Come confused. Like, I can do this. Oh, wait, actually, it does help me. I can play a defend, which I think keeps me alive. Maybe. 
It might not. Yeah, well, I think I'd have been alive still, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Snake bite. Snake rake. Um, oh, do I weaken him again? He's already weak, though. I really need more damage. Actually, I need more block. Taunt, I guess. And dice crush? Nope. And that is all she wrote. One more. I knew I'd have trouble with the Sneko. Sneko is not my uh, character of choice. I even like taking the Sneko Eye as like a relic, even though it's pretty good in the right situations. Okay. Um, what is this one again? Whenever you, uh, max HP is really good though. Is there an early shop we could take advantage of? Shop, oh, there is. And the elites pair up fairly nicely. I can do two elites there or two in this row, getting the emerald key. However, this one here, here, bunch of question marks, but I actually don't mind encounters. So, okay, let's see where this goes. So here, 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 early shop here. Then it's the decision of, well, I wouldn't get two elites actually if I go this way. So I actually kind of want to go this way. Two elites, question marks, and a bunch of rests. Or more question marks. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, return. Let's take the 200, a bunch of souls, and we will see what we can make of it. Um, I want to smith snake bite again. The muddling just kind of helps to be able to play through some of the stuff. Dagger throw. Um, discard, I guess, a basic strike. Um, dramatic entrance. Okay. You're done. You're done. Okay. Uh, exhaust card. I guess. Yeah, because Dice Crush isn't good yet. Okay. Go here. Um, collect. Put X Miracles into your hand. Put a Miracle in your hand at the start of now. A bunch of next turns. Ah, uh, well... Guess we muddle first. This becomes zero. Super nice. I could kill, actually we'll do this. Kill him. He's vulnerable and then we'll play this out, I guess. Taking 10, unfortunately, but that's fine. And I cannot kill you, I don't think. I mean, I can draw a card. Can I play the miracle and kill you? No, I might as well just keep it. Let's see. Tail whip for zero. Strike. You're done. Uh, unknown zero cost card. I kind of like Iron Fane's also good, but I just want to get more max HP. I... Okay, shop battle helm. I think would be good for damage. We'll we'll start with that. Snake bite, and then we're going to strike here. Okay, draw two cards. So let's draw two. Amplify on the top because I don't want it. Um, double our energy is actually pretty nice here. Then we can do Tail Whip. Smite. Because we got the weakness and the vulnerability. Strike. And actually start getting his block down and get some damage in. So yeah, now he's out and we can actually start really hitting him. So Smite, Strike, Strike. So I like to put, I don't know, 75 damage onto him if, if I could. So, smite, snake bite, tail whip, strike. And we put in 90, so I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, top, let's see. Exotic farm, whenever playing an off class card, draw a card. That's kind of nice to keep refilling your hand. Hmm. Is that what we want to try though? We'll try it, sure. We just want to make sure to add more unknown cards, but that's kind of the, the point. Uh, push is maybe used to it. Eh. First, let's remove a basic strike. Feels pretty nice. And then, Paris is so expensive. I can just get that by like adding stuff. So let's add two of these and we'll add a Snithering Strike. It's kind of nice. And we'll keep 155. All right, let's continue down. Uh, game one intangible. I mean... 
That's fine and all, but do I really want that right now? Well, this is zero, so let's play Masterful Strike first. Oh, I should have Tail Whip first, actually. Whoops. Tail Whip, yeah, because we could have got the vulnerability. It's fine. It comes free. Oh, and we killed him. Uh, improvised attack, and a random off-class attack, and muddle it. Exhaust a card and gain energy. I like this just because we always have a way to, like, burn out garbage. Okay, these are going to suck, I can already tell. Alright, so we're going to get rid of that. But, with, actually, I'm just going to really, uh, get this fight started good. Because that, the whirlwind will help us get through this fight, honestly. Honestly, the exotic form is not going to be good right now. We're going to grow, we're going to slithering strike, draw a card, play it. Okay. 18 still, but I think we'll be fine here. Um, snake bite on you. You're done. Um, add a random ethereal card. It costs zero this turn. Uh, to begin an energy and draw a card next turn. Unplayable, I guess so. Um, the do that. Still get the vulnerability. Could have played another draw card, but that gets through the uh, artifacting. I think we're just kind of waiting for um, the whirlwind again. So, but this was a pretty good fight. We did take some damage, but I think we would have taken a lot more if we weren't careful. <laughs> Try to reduce the cost of the days. And then whirlwind. Uh, do I need a? Is it enough though? It's only fifteen. So actually, I want to play. Till the next turn. Actually, you know what? Just ignore pain. Sure. That'll, that'll keep us from taking damage right now. And we can plan to kill him right now. Yep. And we did. Ethereal Feather uh, for every five cards in your deck. Heal three HP whenever you enter a rest day. Really good because our deck's going to be fat. Um, unknown block card. Uh, you know, I think quick move. Well, this gives us mad max HP. No, quick move. Let's do it. Um, the boot. Uh, I actually think I'll take Sapphire Key here. The boot's fine and all, but I don't think it's what I need. Hello, shopkeeper. You're probably going to hurt me. Fire breathing. <clears throat> Draw the status or curse. Six damage all enemy. Uh, oh, ugh. Okay. Trash the treasure. Get rid of the teamwork. Gain a bunch of energy that I can't currently use, unfortunately. So we're going to do... That force we have uh, no more no more uh, cards I could play. Oh, heal off of this? I'm not gonna be able to defend. So first, actually, actually, incorporeal. We're going to slithering strike. Reaper, defend. So we're not gonna take anything. I think we we might have healed like two. Okay. Uh, do that. This is kind of not great. So not gonna get as much damage as we did last time. Is kind of the luck of the draw with this. Okay, here we go though. I can draw another card. A snake bite. We're gonna muddle him. Okay. He sinks. Exotic form. Another strike. Um. You know what? Let's drink this. Well, these kind of stink. I kind of want to draw. Exhaust. Uh, add a random off class and muddle it. <laughs> Game one tangible. Nope, that was a waste of a, of a drink, apparently. I was hoping for more damage, honestly. Do we do another dice boulder? It could be a good use. Actually, the, I think the, the zero, unknown zero cost is going to be better. Okay, Sling of Courage isn't bad. Can be, uh, start a combat and it transforms into any random. That's kind of cool, unfortunate. We can't get it. Champ cards aren't bad since we know we actually can go into the different things, but I think unknown power cards could be really good. We can't get both these though. We could get, we can't even do both these. Uh, snake proof. Does it upgrade to zero? 
one to four. So you always at least get the energy back with a plus almost. It's kind of nice. Or do we just take this, start it off to elite combat with two strength? We're gonna hit another elite. That, yeah, we're about to hit another elite. You know what? Sling of courage. It's not bad. Go here. We healed up some. Do I want a smith? Uh, this being doesn't not exhausting could help clear out the trash from our deck. I think we'll do that. Hopefully, I'm hoping that the sling will help us like push through this elite fight. Honestly. It's kind of the idea. Gremlin knob is gonna suck. Ethereal, lose 16. Okay, so that's kind of garbage. Okay, uh. Can I muddle my hand yet? No, muddle the highest cost. Swift Strike, honestly, get rid of this. Actually, no. Let's get rid of this. Let's just try this. Nothing happened. Okay. I know now. I was hoping that we'd still get the, like, we still get the effect of the stances. I was kind of hoping we would get the effects of the, um, Ghost Flame, at least to deal the damage. But, alas, we do not. Grow. That's fine. Oh, we are going to take 14 here, which kind of sucks. All right. Here's the real, the real kicker. Oh man, uh, highest cost, down to 10, one defend, and we are safe for another another turn. Like safe as in not dead, specifically. Oh, I think we're done. Yeah, I mean I could probably, you know what, we can block through this. 13, he's dealing that. Okay, we'll take one. All right, we have to kill him here. I don't know if we can. Strike, oh, we can. Nice, we definitely should take a, uh, this is start of combat, apply three vulnerability to all enemies. Um, well, 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 I think dice block is actually gonna be good. Oh, we have to make it through a fight. Oh, gross. 18 damage and slow to all enemies. Luck of the draw, baby. Uh, unknown rare power card. I'm fine with it. Give me the give me the healing here. Oh, rest for 30 more. Yes. Very close. Okay. Um, I don't really want the icky. We're only gonna take one this time. We learned last time. Conjure blade is pretty good. Concentrate's also very good, but we don't have the draw to use it. We could just get a super expunger. Uh, let's concentrate on, well, actually let's do this on concentrate. Right. Yeah. Oh, I could do it on tail whip. Let's do it. I'm going for, for, for big plays here. Within once. And then we'll concentrate for a bunch of energy that we can't use. Okay, oh, huh, okay. Um, weird one. Make everything less by hitting them. Split specialist. Uh, attack the thing, cause you draw one additional card each turn. For potency, applies, applies three burn each turn. Let's do draw an additional card. And then I'm going to def grow, and I'm going to defend. So, that worked fine. Snake bite, dice block. Oh, I don't even need to, what am I doing? Nom, um, of course the turn I don't need them, I get a bunch of block cards. Um, Expunder. Works. Um, Dice Crush, Snake Rake, or Snake Roof. Um, I think I really, I still like Snake Rake. Extra draw, always pretty good. Oh my gosh. Um, let's transform, I guess. Well, yeah, the Doppelganger, I assume. Best one to do. Um, who's doing the most? You are dead. And then we will hit, I guess, the shieldy boy. Eight block here, which blocks us for full. Okay, devotion. Pretty good. Um, charge, put a card into stasis, take, draw a card, volatile. I just don't. 
like seven damage kills you. Defend here. And what I play? Do I play in corporeal? No, because we're only gonna take three. So I guess devotion. I don't think it'll ever come into effect. Snake bite. Um, sure. Actually, yeah. Muddle the hand. Actually, let's play this one first. Then we'll snake bite. Muddle. We really wanted free stuff. Gave us seven, which is more, I guess, technically. I really wanted a higher um, card, but that's fine. Let's drop this, this, and this, I guess. Actually, why am I dropping the eviscerate? Drop this. We're gaining a bunch of energy here. And this is zero anyway, so 15, six. I think this is a weird one where I'm going to eviscerate you and kill you. Oh, we drew a bunch of cards. Nice. Okay. And you are dead. That could have been worse. Liquid luck. Uh, choose run around car. Okay, that's kind of nice. Um, another snake rake, I guess. Hard to say. Okay, this is a not a great turn actually. Reprogram, lose one focus. That's fine. Do that. Muddle the two high scars. Let's reprogram for free. Muddle. Okay, that's great actually. And we got thirteen block. That is perfectly enough. Stun for one turn. Tempest. That doesn't really help us. I can muddle a bunch of cards. I could end up playing Stunning Strike for free if I do it like that. Muddle the highest cost card. Yeah. So let's Snake Strike. That became two. I think I will stun you. That sounds great. And then that's it. All right, stun wears off. So you're playing the, I don't know if it's the same cards or different cards. Wraith form, but we lose decks. Not that great. Slice is pretty good though. Oh, trash the treasure. I don't think I'll ever play Wraith Form. While it is pretty good, I don't think I'll play it. I think Ice Cream would really benefit me right now. Snake Strike. Um, Piercing Whale. And then I think, yeah. Muddle some cards. Didn't like the muddle. Try again. Still didn't like it, but at the same time, we can retain it and try doing it better next turn. Okay, slice, dice block, very nice. Um, snake bite, try. Okay, and I'm fine with that. Really could have used the weakness there, though. Um, eh, keep the icky, I guess, so we can try to exhaust it that way. Oh, another reprogram is pretty nice here. Yeah, reprogram here. Trash the treasure, get rid of this. We're going to hit you, and then I guess we are going to Tempest. For one? Oh, because we've been reprogramming. Sure, we'll keep this one. It's definitely a weird one. Okay. Um, is there anything here I don't want? I don't think so. I think everything here is pretty good. Actually, mm -hmm. snake bite first. Well, no, tail whip first. Then snake bite. We muddled those, so we're actually we're going to do this. <laughs> then we'll do this and this. Finally, we did get through this boss fight. Okay, M mud shield we've seen whenever you muddle, uh, game will block. Pretty good. Snake proof, draw one card and exhaust one card. Replacing them with random cards. Uh, the exhausted cards class. That's kind of nice. Yeah, I think I want that. Then exhaust those cards. Danger Noodle is kind of cool. I can see the point, but no. Uh, I think I'm going with Sozu here. While potions are good, energy is crucial, and I'm not doing that great. So I don't really want to increase the ascension level and make it even harder. We got a pretty good amount of money. I'm thinking this late shop could be pretty nice. I don't really want two late shops though. I wish there was a elite somewhere right here because this is pretty, pretty nice. Bunch of question marks. 
We could hit the elite shop. Yeah, we'll do two shops and then go to here. Try to go ahead and kill the shopkeeper on this floor. Okay. Uh, break the sapphire key. Break the emerald key. Pretty nice. Now we need to start smithing. And there's a lot of... I think the upgraded rare power would be really nice. But this also draws two cards. So, it gives us more options on what we're exhausting. Did I sit down through here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, not great. Okay. Um, reinforced body, pretty good. Turbo, also pretty good. I wish we had some draw. Okay. Well, we're not going to take damage this turn, so I'm going to do that. We'll take the void, and then I guess I will hit one of you. Reinforce body for a bunch. And we'll get rid of the basic event. Having thorns would have been really nice right there. Okay, hit you, hit you. Uh, muddle the highest cost card. Becomes two, we can play it. We're going to take one, but we can get this power out of our hand. Kind of worth it, I think. Okay, mental fortress. Whenever you chain stance, it grows. Um, split bruiser, I guess. That's fine. Um, snake rake. We'll muddle something. Still okay with it, kind of. Ooh, free strike. Um, do this. Knock you down. Those two are muddled, so let's get that in here. Okay. Got the bruiser, which is going to deal some damage. Soul exchange. Yeah, let's go ahead and draw some cards. Play the top card. Repeat this for for each slime. Each of your spawn slime. Eh. Let's do that out of here. Wait, what just happened? Exhaust your hand. Oh, that wasn't correct. Okay. Um, however, we can do something fun here. Let's do Bruiser. We can gain a bunch of strength. Um, you're going to get out of here because I don't want you. Rally. Do this. Everything costs less. Then we're going to make our slime do a lot of this damage. Um, we're going to turbo out some more cards. We're going to hit you. Oh, the slime's not hitting anymore. I thought it would be for each one. Slime Brawl. Keep hitting. Okay, that worked out well. Uh, it's okay, upgrade, sure. I like the max HP too. Okay. Um, definitely, you're not hitting us that way. Let's draw some cards. I, I, I understand Soul Exchanger more now. Um, so, how do I want to do the Snake Rake? Okay, we're not going to gain any more energy though. Let's do this. Ooh, interesting. Um, what if I do this? Okay, it is a bunch of uh, a bunch of shop cards. Snake, the fish. Okay, they're all really expensive though. Okay, uh, snake rake. Model some more. Uh, do this and do this. So I think. Actually having, let's seek out trash to treasure here. At the start of your turn, return a random exhausted zero cost card to your hand. Interesting. Um, stance, stance, I guess the defensive, just to do it. Uh, strike. Cool. Should have played the defend. I don't know why I did that. To all enemies, at the start of your turn, lose one energy. Can I kill if I use that? Not really. Can I seek an attack? Oh, hand of greed. Very good. I need more energy, though, that's my problem. Because that's three. This is 20. I need just, like, a little bit more. Can I enter Berserk? It's not going to do anything, but I can. Hmm. So I can play 26. That'd be 32. I'm too short. Do I really want to take another 10 damage? I could just exhaust and draw more cards. But what do I... What do I get rid of? Let's get rid of exotic form. Get a bunch of snack cards. Hopefully, maybe this. Yeah, let's, well, let's, let's try this first. 12 damage. So we need 8. So we need to draw some cards. Line's fine. 
I just need more damage. Um, play one of three boss cards. Okay. Get rid of this one. Gain one of three boss cards. I need damage. Uh, blah, blah, blah. No. Um, these are all two, though, and I have one energy left. Well, fart. But I can muddle them. I can muddle them and get more energy. So which one deals? He has eight left. Okay, Guardian. We want. To, oh, they're free. Guardian World. That was a struggle. Struggle of math there. Um, I think another zero cost. Why not? Uh, we might as well fight and take everything, right? Yeah, sure. Hi, dude. How you doing? Enchanted Crown. Choose a card in hand that costs zero for this combat. Sure. What do I put it on? I think we're just going to do this one so we can play it. Um, ooh, Tail Whip would have been nice. But I don't want to take 21. We gained 6. 12. Okay. Okay. Uh, deal 16 damage for each debuff on the enemy. They have 1. Not bad damage, honestly. So let's first do this. Should it decrease this cost? Then 16 damage here. Then quick move, I think. Muddle something in the incorrect way. Do this to see if we get a zero. Adrenaline, very nice. Snake bite to muddle some nonsense. Electrodynamics to play it. Oh, I could contrast a treasure. The dice, cr another basic defend. And then we have one, we can play a dice crush. Sweet. Okay. Footwork, fine. Uh, slurp, sure. Why are we drawing so many cards now? Oh, yeah, because we have the... Whenever you play an off-class card, draw a card. Okay. Okay. Um, two. Tail would be great. Can I muddle these? Yes, I can. Let's see if I can get it for one. Or, eh, do I want to try to get it for zero? Uh, muddle the highest card in your hand. It's not the highest anymore, so we should just tail whip. And then, do I try for a bunch of free stuff? I could. Sure, why not? Um, and we got... Let's get rid of... Man, there's some weird ones. Soul draw. Okay. Discard all off cost card. Draw that many plus one. Nope. In your hand, replace it with a random card of the same type. Eh. Actually, let's nope the exotic form. Rotation does nothing. Okay. We're going to take 15. <laughs> we tried. It's definitely an odd one. Uh, okay, I want to see if I can get the energy first. We got two, and I think multicast actually will do it. And we're done. Sweet. All right, let's you get our spoils here. 100 souls, actually pretty nice for the upcoming shops. Mut mutagenic strength, pretty good. Does extra three damage on the start of combat. Uh, transform a card. Let's go defend. Muddled Shield, actually really good for muddling. Transform, now a Strike. Um, oh! We have really good rolls on those. That is a unknown rare attack card. Actually really good. Jax, which is pretty good. Uh, actually, we'll take that. And then a card reward. And then I'll do an unknown common attack. Gain Young Snacko Curse with Bewilder. Okay, a uh, suspicious house. Traveling through the city, your ears are pierced by a shrill, inhuman cry coming from a nearby house. Upon investigation, you find an inhabitant of the city trying to sense a small serpentine creature trapped in a cage. Hey, what are you doing in my house? Get out! Cage critter is startled and hopped back into the corner of its confinement. Uh, it's clearly not happier. Gain young snapple. Uh, Defend it to a random enemy at the start of your turn. Yeah, of course. Help the little snake out, and we can just remove that curse eventually. Um, okay, and we're gonna go this way and then back this way. Yes, and then down this way, I guess. Okay, try to remember my pathing. Tiny chest, pretty good. Uh, we're gonna take this one here. Blue candle, unplayable curses. 
cannot be played. Pretty good since we don't know what we're going to be adding to our deck with some of these curse cards, or some of these cards we get. So we could actually be adding curses or uh, different things. Okay, this is a weird one. Uh, Murder Strike from Unknown Exhaust Card, 20 damage from the use a technique. Uh, okay, so we just want to muddle that. So let's start by doing this. Okay, now it's one. So, uh, 20 damage here. Uh, if you have at least 20 block, deal 15 damage. That's not great. Uh, I think I'm just going to malaise you. And then we will take the four damage. Oh, look at our baby Sneko. Look at that. Okay, can I... I can't muddle anything. Fish and clear... Kill him. Uh, this card stays in your hand. It costs zero this turn. I can't kill anyone. We're going to Jax first. Actually, I probably can't kill someone. Uh, I can almost kill someone. Unfortunate. I want to play all of them, but unfortunately, I can't get the kill for that. So we're going to take a bunch of damage here. Okay. He has one. Do I have anything that does AoE? Mm, retract. Gain one energy. Uh, so this is just one. Uh do this. I'm going to save my muddle cards up for now. <sighs> Expertise. Felt the hand. Every 12th card played. Tail whip. Okay, let's start muddling stuff. Snake whip. I want you dead, really. Alright, that was kind of sucked. We'll put Icky back on top. Muddle the two highest cost cards. Do that. That one's better. Um, we can do... I really need this to be zero. To be playable. Yeah. It's not going to get there this turn. So. I uh, deal 15 damage trap. So we will save that. I will go ahead and get rid of the basic defend. But I really wanted chrono boost. There's exotic form. Muddle your hand and discard this card. Eh. Honestly, I'll be okay with just exotic form strike. Oh, maybe not. Dual wield. Does that uh, stay till next turn? Okay. Uh, Ancient Construct, pretty good. Bunch of weird cards right here, but... Alright. <sighs> Let's see what we can do. Um, try to think. Rewind. Ooh, Expertise is really good here. Expertise... Uh, I really want... I'm just going to go for the kill here, honestly. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that. This. Hit this. And you're dead. I was getting a little worried on doing the math there. Metronome. Increase for uh, one, increased strength for each uh, sequential attack. Max of 10. Pretty good. Uh, to all of them. I'm going to take this just because... Um, we kind of need an AoE card. We don't really have one. Hello, Shopkeep. You're going to probably try to hurt me. Fifth Seal. Uh, upgrade a random card in your deck. Honestly, I could just play that out just because. We have 17 damage on this one, too. Yeah, I think I'm going to play this, and then I'm going to play Tail Whip. And hope for the weekend for two turns. Really, that's all I can ask for. Because that means he's going to do much less damage. Um, perform X times, gain X. I don't think I need to do that, though. Twin Beam. Uh, this one, um, six here. That'll get us to 14. We'll take one. I could just not take any, honestly, if I really want to. But we'll do eight and call it there. All right, we need some good pools on our stuff here, too. And, of course, we don't get shelf loot and discard. Draw one card. I really want to draw. Um, Rising Strike. Really not great. Okay. We're going to Jax, Unique Form, Rising Strike, play the Icky, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Choose one of a bunch of two. Time Ripple? That's going to be nice, actually. Accuracy is bad. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and Flash of Steel. Okay. Snake Bite, Muddle the two highest. Uh, I'm not pretty happy with that. Snake Rake. Zero time ripple. Um, I really want to snake wreck again. That becomes one. Uh, 
hit you for 37 here. It's actually a pretty good bit. Is there anything else I could do here? Not really. Gain six. But we should be able to go next time. He's down to 77. And teamwork. Oh, actually. Tries to treasure. 16, 13. Might as well do that. I guess I could have done this plate static discharge for one more draw. But I'm okay with the way that went. And we upgraded the card. Pretty nice. Uh, unknown silent card, sure. I'm just honestly going for more max HP at this point. Calipers. Actually really good. Gonna take most of our money, though. Am I okay with that, though? The downside is I can't remove a card. Cheap shots are actually pretty good, too. I think I'll go with Calipers, though. We're, we generate can generate a lot of block, and Calipers is just really good. And we're going to that shop down here, too. Oh, hello, Sneko. Sneck for a snack. I do not want a Brutality, unfortunately. Man, this is actually not a great turn. Let's do this. Do Empty Fist. Snake Rake. This is zero, though. 23 damage. Well, man, it's going to put us close to death. We do gain that back, so... We just really want to be careful. Okay. Snake Rake. Uh, slay, this, uh, slay the Spire. Can I kill you? Skewer, 20 damage? Yes. Nice. Okay. And then three cost card? Yeah, we're mud we muddle our hand anyway, so. Ooh, okay, Cultist. Hi. Whenever you leave defensive mode, gain three temporary strength. Uh, these are all terrible, for being honest. Yeah, uh, we might as well play this though, just to get it out of here. Six here. I really don't want to jax, but do I think I'll need it? We're gonna go with not using it because our HP is very low. All right, um, we can gain a bunch of block here, which is kind of nice. That for zero, also very nice. Uh, unless gladiator, we should do this just to do it. We have 10, 12 coming in, 15 damage. I think I'd rather just Lariat. Just gain the defense, take no damage. Okay. Dagger Spray, very good. Um, put an zero from your last spell into your hand. I don't have anything in there, but I could do, yeah, wait. Yeah, watch, Trash to Treasure, Frail, Nightmare Visage, did not bring it back, unfortunately, uh, like I expected it to. We're gonna take nine here because of that. Okay, uh, uh, I think I wanna do this to draw some cards. Signature move. This is the only attack in your hand. Uh, it's not. Uh, 13 and two weak, oh, gross. <sighs> Trying to decide what I wanna do here. I think I want, well, actually, yeah, no, not the only attack. I mean, I can't take both of these. Um, unfortunate, we're gonna take a little bit more here. Down to seven, snack beam for 14, chill as well. And more snack beam here. I really don't wanna, uh, Sure, let's do that. Iron Fang for some block. Oh, okay, we're fully blocked. I was about to say, are you serious? Tell what, not gonna play around with it. Tin Souls. I actually don't want any of these. Shop here. All right, we really wanna kill him first turn if possible. Uh, we'll see. He'll uh, hook, Flurry of blows, and he's dead. 400 out there. A healing relic would be awesome, like Lee's Waffle. A uh, Snake Rake. Yeah, I like those. We did not. Okay. Let's go ahead. I want to remove Bewilder. When you play another card, muddle your hand. I don't really want that. I want to so selectively muddle. Um, okay. Rare skill, I like. Also, Slimy Hat. 
will be good. 119 left. I think we'll call it there for now. We are down to eight, and that we're gonna be at eight on the boss unless we get a heal here. Oh my, no. Leave. Oh, there was no healing. That's unfortunate. Also, this is really unfortunate because we can't, got nothing here. Um, and I can't kill him in one turn. Um, I guess get rid of, unfortunately. Oh, this sucks. This really sucks. Uh, I don't even know what this one's from. Uh, I guess Snake Beam. Not great. Actually, I think we're dead here. Because I have no block. Cheat. Yep. It happens. We tried. Got past the first boss. Man, Neko is just hard. Well, I guess one locks this time. Cheat, shift, rotation. Uh, we've seen this one. Uh, this turn cards uh, that choose a random number for their effect gain the max maximum possible number. Pretty good. Uh, exhaust all off-class cards in your hand. Replace them with new ones. Not bad. Rotation. Discard all off-class cards. Uh, draw that many plus one. All pretty good. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with how far we got. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button. Or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.